Hey guys, welcome back. It's not that often that uh, I look a country album, but here I am with another here on the channel. Today I am looking at Who I Am by Alan Jackson, which was released in 1994. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of country music. I've said that, you know, a couple of times here on the channel, but I'll listen to it a little bit. I feel well for I listen to country. It's mainly songs and albums that were released in the 90s and 2000s. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop to that. This is Alan Jackson's fifth studio album. It was released on June 28th. 1994. Its 28th anniversary is coming up here in a few days. The album has uh, 13 tracks with a runtime of about 47 minutes. It also contains five singles. They are Summertime Blues, Live On Love, Gone Country, Song For The Life, and I Don't Even Know Your Name. Many of these tracks here on the album are covers. Summertime Blues is a track originally by Eddie Cochern. Uh, Song For Life has been recorded by many artists, uh, including Rodney uh, Crowell. Thank God For The Radio was a number one hit in 1984 for the Kendalls. Lastly, uh, Jackson re recorded Let's Get Back to Me and You for his 2013 album, The Bluegrass Album. Uh, but yeah, uh, I know that was released like 20 years later after this album, but you know, many of these songs were originally uh, recorded by other artists, hence why, you know, I said covers uh, a minute ago. And yeah, that's practically it. Uh, that's really all the information I could find online from, you know, a uh, few sites. So basically, this album is a cover album for the most part, which I don't mind. I like how he made each track uh, into his own style, which uh, I feel every artist does when they're covering uh, tracks or doing song covers in a way. Now, let's hop into the tracks. We start off with Summertime Blues. It is a good track to start off with. I feel it has a great sound overall. I love Alan's vocals as well as lyrics. We've now reached the time of year, but when it's summertime, you want to try and go out as much as you can and do what you want without worrying about anything else. Living on Love is a decent track as well. I feel it's more of a laid-back track of investing time and money on someone. You would do anything Gone Country is another track I like. I feel it's about how people can change over time. I also love the instrumental on this track. I Don't Even Know Your Name gives us a story about going out and seeing people you think are attractive and attempting to uh, get with them for a day. Practically, you know, a one night stand as they call it, or as I should say. I'm sure a lot of us have done this. Uh, some of the lyrics include, you know, about how you go out drinking and sometime later you don't realize what you're doing. Uh, you wake up and you see this person uh, next to you and you don't even know who they are, let alone their name. Thank God for Thrayo is a slow trick. Uh, I feel this is uh, about being reminded of a song, whether it was song you uh, did or song who passed away. Uh, there's always a song out uh, there being played that reminds you of someone or 
something. I feel this was a great track overall. I love the lyrics here. Let's get back to Me and You is the closing track on the album. It is one of the shortest tracks coming out to 2 minutes and 52 seconds in length. I didn't think it was uh, a bad trick overall. I love the little instrumental break here on. Some of my favorite tricks include If I Had You, Thank God For The Radio, I Don't Even Know Your Name, and Living On Love. Say, I'll be giving this album a 5 out of 5. I thought it was uh, another nice little throwback to nearly uh, 30 years ago. Uh, I feel like I've been covering a bunch of older albums here on the channel lately, uh, you know, some of which I own, some of which I, you know, don't, but yeah, it's always nice going back, you know, like 20, 30, 40 years and looking at some of these albums that are pretty much now considered to be uh, classic albums, no matter the genre. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave thoughts down below in the comments. Next week, I will be looking at My Own Prison by Creed. So, unfortunately, I don't have a case for the album. I was just given it like that. So, that is one of the few times you'll ever see it here on the channel. Then, yeah, I really have one been wanting to go out, purchase any cases for any loose CDs I have, uh, you know, so I've been, uh, doing what I have done. I have a little, like, pouch I was given that can hold up to time, so I have it stored in there, and, yeah, uh, next Saturday, I will try to look at Mainstream Sellout by Machine Gun Kelly.